WCS Southeast Vixens Championship on the line. Casey Parnell, the challenger. Daphne Smith, the champ. Casey is up 2 1. We just completed the heavyweight match. We are down here now. 2 1. 2 1, Casey up in this match. All right, strike to start for Casey. So Daphne has been the face of the Vixen series in the Southeast for quite some time. One of the most decorated Vixens that we've had. She's had a match here before against Casey and lost the title. And she's trailing out 2-1. Daphne don't talk a lot of trash. She lets her game do the talking for her. But we've all sat there. Really, really love Daphne. Everybody uh, really likes her. Don't ask her to talk too much trash. But Casey, on the other Casey talks to trash, does the videos. She's all what WCS is, is about. And so we're expecting a good match here. Both ladies starting off with strikes. Daphne in the second, game four. Seven pin for Daphne. All right, good cover by Daphne. Light strike from Casey. Here's Casey in the third. Mm, ten bin. Good spare by Casey. So judging by the set, judging by the set, so 630 and 670 is a close match. Our close scores. Don't I just know it's 2-1. 2-1 high caliber. High caliber is a team that came from Savages. Similar to Complete Anarchy. Spin-off from Savages. But Casey up 2-1. But here's Daphne in the third. All 
right, we're here for the Vixens match. Joining it partway through here, we're at game four. Daphne Smith, current Vixens champ. Been the Vixens champ here in the South for a long time. Is trailing 2-1. Trailing 2-1 here. Casey Parnell has, has beaten Daphne for the belt in this building before. Casey Parnell, big social media presence, making videos on her matches. She's currently involved in the Uncapped Tag Match, uh, Uncapped Tag Series, the Cruiserweight Series, and the Vixen Series. She's up 2-1 in this match. Big strike from Daphne there in the fourth. Sixty nine max for Daphne. KC seventy nine max. Two one Casey in the fourth. Strike there from Casey. Ten pin. Strike for Daphne. All right. So Daphne's on a double. Another ten pin for Daphne. Hopefully she'll get the uh, get the spare, keep this match going, or keep this game going. Excuse me. She doesn't need to give up the, the give up the game because she is still trailing two one in the match.
Big strike for Casey. Casey's on a 259 max. 248 max for Daphne. Casey up 2-1 here in game four. These girls are loving to leave the temp in today, but they're sparing them. All right, match is tight. Our game is tight. Still two, still two one. Daphne up in the seventh, two forty eight max. Casey's trailing now in this game. She needs to, she strikes out for a 239, but Daphne's in control of the game with a 248 max. So let's see how it goes. Big strike there for Casey. Big strike in the ninth. That foundation frame. See if Daphne can put the pressure on her. But Daphne's still up. 48 max, 39 max. Daphne in control here, game four. All 
All right, big strike there for Dabney. Dabney gets these first two in the 10th, and she will lock up game four. Got it. All right, one more for Daphne, and we'll be all squared. So the 10 pin leave right there. Now this game is going to be up to Casey. Casey punches for 239. This will be a 237 if she spares, if uh, Daphne spares this 10 pin. So the seven pin leave there by Casey is going to make this a 2 2 match. It's going to be 2 2 going to game five. We also have the cap tag match going on that is in game seven. Game seven in the cap tag match. Hitman got 290 max, 279 max for NWO. So we'll keep you posted on the outcome of that. But we are going to game five here in the for the Vixens uh, Southeast Championship. Daphne starting game five off here with a strike. See if I can get her son to sit down for a little bit. 
Okay, he's at least moved out of the way of the camera a little bit there. Jackson's a pretty good bowler in his own right, a little two-handed. Does pretty good. All right, here's Casey. Nine pin. Casey with the strike in the second. These two score really well and have good matches, but they never really get into the whole thing. Seven fell out there for Dabney. She was close to that six, seven, ten, but luckily for her, the seven fell out. She's got the six, ten to shoot out here. Should be an easy cover as well, as well as they've been shooting ten pins. She should have this one fairly easily. Daphne got a strike here in the third. These two ladies tied 2-2, game five. Here comes Casey in the third. It's early, but both these girls will shoot on the twos again. I have no doubt in my mind about that. Pinfall doesn't matter, but you look through four. Casey had 8.88, Daphne had 8.67. So the girls are shooting pretty well. Another 10 pin shot here for Kate. Oh no, she missed that one. If she was aiming at the five pin, but unfortunately she was shooting at the 10.
All right, good spare there by Casey. So Davney, 280 max, up in the fourth. She tripped out to seven at the six, seven, ten last time up, covered the spare. Let's see what she does here on the right lane again. All right, Casey. Casey needs to get back on the strikes here. That's a strike. All right. So she's up two. Or, excuse me, down two. Dutch pace for Daphne. But her max is two pins higher than, uh, than Casey's. So we'll see how it goes. Casey leaving the four pin there. So the noise, you can probably hear the noise over here. The 10th frame, NWO. All you gotta do is keep the ball in the lane, he strikes. NWO walks down, walks down Hitman. Hitman, we're up 3-0. NWO completes the walk down, wins 4-3. Great, great. That's a, that's a great walk down right there in a building where the back and forth between the NWO, the between NWO, Hitman talking trash, squad talking trash, everybody talking trash today. That was a, a very epic, epic walk down. That was fantastic. Pretty good. Hey, so hey, at least it didn't go six like Ray thought it was. No, 
<laughs> that's right. Hey. I ain't gonna lie. That's some work. That's some work. Hey. Some fucking work. All right. So hey, we're here. So we didn't get to watch most of the match because of the other matches going on, but y'all had to tag together for the first time after your guy got hurt. Brandon comes in. I'm worried about your nerves the whole time myself. How that was gonna go, Kathy? You're blocking the camera. <laughs> Move, Kathy. That's Kathy McWilliams. Um, she she does that to us. But anyway, we uh. So tell me how it felt. How did you feel about your your partner getting hurt and 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 getting to pick up a teammate and how that was gonna go? Never doubt, man. Never doubt. I had a few choices. I picked her. Left-handed. We had an advantage. Never a doubt, man. Never a doubt. Yeah, Never well, a doubt. Well, that, that was fantastic. Never a doubt. So I know recently you got up to in the Vixens. You were real close. Bold Daphne for the title. And um, oh, there you go. He's passing out the jewelry already, uh, the hardware. Um, how does it feel? Like, I know y'all took the pictures earlier. You know, I kind of was joking Randy about it, making sure he got those pictures turned in and stuff. But y'all did it. Y'all did it. How, how's it feel? I was a little nervous at first because I was swept by Daphne. So I was like, all right, I got Gat, so I'm not by myself. But I, it was, it was nerve-wracking the first couple. And then I was like, all right, settled in. Me and Gat did great. Yeah, y'all did great. I mean, y'all were down 3 nothing, yeah. and y'all and y'all And y'all did the damn thing. So, at what point did, did you feel? What, what point did you feel like you had the job were gonna come back? Yeah, she started. She started going. She started striking. If she runs the first six, I wasn't gonna stop her. I said, well, we got a good line, drawing out a little for us, and, and from there it just, you know, strike city. You know what I'm saying? We go big, big, two big games. Last game, you know, we knew we had to, you know, go for it at the end. But I, I, I'm and, and, happy. And it was really good because you had you had uh, Randy. You know, doing his uh, back and forth with uh, with the with with Jazz and, and betting on shots and all that kind of stuff, and, and yeah, and, and Jazz is great. She's always been uh, real vocal in all these kind of matches, and they did their best. They were trying to pick at you constantly. Didn't think you were going to strike. You strike. You shut them up. You made Randy some money, and now you get to be part of being the the, the tag team champions. So, congratulations. Any last words? Thank you. Uh, Tell Casey that's all about being boring. It's all about being boring. Right? Yeah, but we winning. Hey, no, right. we winning. That's right. Hey, con congratulations, you, Congratulations. Hey. All right, so we are back over here. So Daphne opened while I was gone in the seventh. So her max is 214 here in game five. 227 max for Casey. Uh, for Casey, so Casey is uh, has the lead here. She's got to cover this up and get it, get the lead here in game five. Here, Casey tied 2 2 in the eighth. Money, nice strike. The first, the first round of today's uh, match uh, of the last team standing, uh, the first cut, so to speak. Casey shot really well here, shot 765 for her first three. Unfortunately, Daphne, uh, they got eliminated yes last night, as as did I. But uh, they're back today, and it's two two, and let's see what Daphne can do here in the eighth. Ah, ten pin. For those of you who watched the world title match yesterday, you know that ten pins were missed constantly between both people. And uh, these girls, I think, have spared all their 10 pins so far. All 
right, good. I didn't did not jinx Jeff, Daphne there. She got despair. But she's on a 204 max at the moment. 204, 217. There's a four pin there for Daphne. A big spare there for Daphne. All right, pressure here. Game five is on Casey. Coming up here in the ninth. 217 max. She's only struck once this game on this lane. Let's see what she can do here on her fifth try this game on the right lane. Seven pin lead for Casey. Covered by Casey. So 93 max for Daphne. So this is going to come down to the temp for sure. She can't uh, close her out. Well, I'm sorry. Yes, she can. If she gets a double here, she could close. Uh, she closed Daphne out. So we'll see how it goes. That's a big strike there. Big strike for Casey. 177 plus the next two. She gets, gets this next one, and all she needs is seven on the field. But she got to get this one first to have a chance of closing Daphne out here in game five. Six to seven will close it out. Seven will close it out. Get her to 194. Daphne can only get to Five to Casey. Game five, Casey. Casey up. 3 2. 197 for Casey there. Regardless what Daphne does here, most she can get is 193.
That's a beautiful strike. Seven pin. She got her spare. Daphne up on the right lane here. Keep waiting for these ladies to start stringing these strikes, but they're not, but they're making their spares. That's why their scores are so, so well. Right there, seven count, two, four, five. Good cover by Daphne. Both ladies starting with spares here. Casey needs a strike here to keep pace with Daphne here early in game six. A little further right than she has been. Let's see if that's a good move. Ten pin. Casey Spares. So just down one early. 
But she's up 3 2 where it matters in the games. girls are losing steam getting a little tired I know Casey's done a lot of bowling today but the good part about these girls is they're very uh, have very good spare games they cover they cover everything they leave which is fantastic good uh, fu good fundamentals from both ladies Daff up in third, has a lead. Can she build on it? Another 10 pin. Good spare by Daphne. Still haven't seen him miss a 10 pin in the uh, three games that we've had the, had the joy of watching. in the fourth. Ooh. Four, six, seven. Four, six, seven by Daphne. Let's see if Casey can get this spare here. And she will. So all the non-splits they're, they're picking up. They're just leave, having, leaving a lot of them. They get a lot of spare practice that they don't necessarily need. Need to see some uh, more strikes out of these two.
Looks good. Ah, seven pin. Wow. All right, good cover. That's all they're doing is covering. And I'm almost tempted to say the next person that strikes is going to win this damn thing. So I'm not sure you heard Nick there. He was kind of picking at Daphne. She picked up her spare ball to start. And he kind of reminded her to, uh, you don't need to get the 10 out first, get the 10 out second. So I'm sure she would have realized that Daphne's a very smart bowler. Light, two, four, five again. That's what she started on that lane with this game. Surprise, surprise, another cover. I would tell you the max scores, but that would be as if they were going to strike the rest of the way, and they're not going to strike the rest of the way. They're still in this spare competition that they're having. Is currently a nine point lead though for, for Casey, who is already up 3 2. Oh, and my strike. Maybe I, maybe I caused a jinx of some kind. Uh, Casey up in the sixth on the right lane. Let's see if she can match. Oh my goodness, a strike. So both girls strike in the sixth. That still leaves Casey up nine this game. Up 3-2 on the match. Double, hot damn. Got a double for the first time this game. Daphne's behind in this in this game though, and in the match. This is this is this is crazy. 
to add suspense to this match, we finally got doubles from both ladies. But Casey is still up nine. Daphne gets a chance to put a little pressure on her. There's a turkey from Daphne. Both girls have three in a row here in this match. It seemed like it was never, ever going to happen. And now Casey can get a strike here. Put more pressure on Daphne. Casey here, trying to add a little bit of excitement to this match. Five in a row from Daphne. Never thought I'd see it in this match. Daphne get another one here. Yes. She gets, she gets this here. Ever since I said I wasn't going to talk about the Maxis, the girls have uh, given me a reason to. So now 236 if Daphne strikes here. 245 if Casey strikes out. So... Surprisingly, Daphne goes back seven here to finish with a 236. Still on Casey. Starts with a strike here. Double closes it out. But she got to get the first one. Up 3-2 in the match. Got the strike. All right. All right. Needs a strike and a two. Strike two to become the Southeast Vixens champion again.
We are going to game seven. Going to game seven in this Vixens match. Game seven has begun. Daphne, not the best ball she's thrown in a while, but she left the four seven. I would say 20 on the spare. She's going to spare this up with no problem. These girls have been sparing machines. Surprisingly, I'm glad nobody took my $20 on that spare because Daphne did not spare. So now I don't know what's going to happen here at Casey's when I would have put money on her sparing, but uh, I'm not going to do that. So 6-10, 6-10 here for Casey, see what she can do. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Casey just went Brooklyn. But it's a strike. So early lead here in game seven. Daphne coming up on the right lane. See if Daphne can do something to keep it going. And he's still fighting in this match. They're tied 3 3. Third frame. Daphne trailing this game. Let's see what she can do here. Ah, 10 pin.
All right, good cover by Dabney. So it's early, but I'll go ahead and max it out this time. Casey's max, 290. Daphne's max, 269, excuse me. Oh, all right. Something didn't feel right. Four seven here for Casey. Had a chance for a three in a row, but just couldn't capitalize. Nice strike there from Daphne. 259 is still her max. 68. 268 is the max for Casey. Nice strike. Nice throw there from Daphne.
All right, it's three in a row now for Daphne. She's still on that. Uh, At 259 pace. 248 pace for Casey. So let's see if Daphne can build on her lead potential. All right. Game seven's coming down to it. To the wire here. Like I said, 59 to max for Savages, for Daphne. 48 to max for Casey. She gotta stay on it here. Nine, left the three six there. Went really high there. She gotta cover it. Hope her big eighth frame. And at this point, hope that Daphne messes up. Daphne's look good her last four shots. Let's see how this plays out. Thank you. 
So, sorry about that, we stepped away for a second. So Daphne has retained the Vixens title. She has sealed it, game seven. Came back, won it again, or, or I'm sorry, retained it again. That's a great job, great job by Daphne. Again, 258 that game, fantastic. Uh, much love to both these girls, much respect between both of them, it's, fan it's great. Let me see if I can get a quick word with Daphne. So I'm I'm here briefly with Daphne, who wouldn't wouldn't talk to me earlier. She's uh, not not talking trash to people. Boring. I'm boring. She, Daphne is very boring. Um, so I Daphne. Strike, but I'm boring. So the, so the interesting part for me and Casey in this whole thing is we both bowled on Savages before. Mm -hmm. uh, you've, you've been instrumental to both of our uh, our new teams, our, our success in the UBA, encouraging. Yes. Um, you have been great to both of us. So it's always tough for us in these matches trying to pick, um, you know, because I've always picked Casey, I've always picked you, but when y'all bowl each other, it's, it's always it's tough. Flip, like, it's a flip. She had the advantage over here before. So it was kind of easy to say, think Casey was going to do it again. She I would great pick today. Casey in this building over me. Well, this, I was this building, I would pick Casey over me. Because so I, I was beside your 132 yesterday. Yes, 132. And, I was, and Casey came it came yesterday, and I was like, she was like, you know, how's it going? I was like, uh, Dabney, uh, not doing so well. But, you, I mean, you did it. You were down 3-2. You won strike it. Strike when I need to, I guess. You strike when you need to. You throw a, throw a great ball all the time. Um, the one thing we were very complimentary about, both of you, is you spare. Y'all yeah. spare and you need to. Uh, so many of the guys' matches that we've seen lately, they, they, the spare game hasn't been good. That's what we just said, that we literally, between the seven games, we each missed one Megable spare. I waited till the seventh game to do mine, but, um, yeah, she missed one 10-pin, I think, and then I missed the 4 7 Yeah, because it's funny. I actually, I'm glad nobody commented on it uh, on the live stream, or I couldn't see it anyway, but I had said the way y'all were shooting spares, I was like, I got 20 that she's going to get this spare. And then I blink and you miss the and four seven, it, right? and I was like, yeah. "Damn, Daphne's trying to cost me some money." <laughs> but um, again, you know, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Um, you're, you, we all think you're amazing, and uh, I don't know who you got next, but uh, we'll see you at Village. We'll see. Yes, ma'am. Right, cool. Yes, ma'am.